Welcome back everyone to our channel Study English with Momita and Shomi. This is Ma'am Shomi and today I am going to discuss question number 2 from the poem We are the Music Makers written by Arthur Roche Shaughnessy. Kindly check the description box for the playlist where you will get many more descriptive questions and answers. Today it's time for question number 2. Explain for each age is a dream that is dying or one that is coming to birth. With close reference to the text, comment on the ending full marks 4. The answer. The poem, We Are the Music Makers, is a celebration, a triumphant announcement of the sovereignty of the creative artists. Whenever you are writing the name of any literary piece or any text, underline it or put it within quotes. The introduction is important and the opening statement is also very important. In the introduction, I have clearly explained the meaning of these two lines quoted above. O'Shaughnessy states that each age is a result of the dreams of the artists. This is again replaced by another dream of their own. Their dreams are capable of replacing themselves to give birth to a new dream, dream of a new modern world. The introduction must be written in such a way that the examiner must feel that you have clearly understood the question. Pay attention to how you write your introduction and then let's change the paragraph and move on to the next paragraph. The ending thus highlights the chain reaction that such an idea initiates. So after explaining the lines, the line meaning come to the analysis, the critical analysis. The ending thus highlights the chain reaction that such an idea initiates. And what is that idea? Art survives when nothing does. This thus reinforces the theme of the timelessness of art. Art is eternal, the theme of this poem. The men who think and dream, that is the music makers, are really important and immortal in this world. The word dream is significant as the dreams of these dreamers of dreams shake us out of complacency and lead to change and progress. Use quotations, small quotations. This will enhance the quality of your answer. Next paragraph. The words dying and birth Though contradictory, enlarge the scope of the active role played by creative artists in shaping the present and this present is a juncture between the past and the future. The present arises from the ashes of a dying past and the present simultaneously gives birth to the future. All key elements must be mentioned. Now, since no word limit has been mentioned, take help from this video and then frame your own answers. The word, you may write your answer within the word limit 150 words, 120 to 150 words. It's up to you. You will take your call. Remember, time management is equally significant. So, Frame your answers accordingly. I will read the answer once again so that you can take down your notes. The poem, We Are the Music Makers, is a celebration, a triumphant announcement of the sovereignty of the creative artists. O'Shaughnessy states that each age is a result of the dreams of the artists. This is again replaced by another dream of their own. Their dreams are capable of replacing themselves to give birth to a new dream. Dream of a new modern world. 
The ending thus highlights the chain reaction that such an idea initiates. Art survives when nothing does. This thus reinforces the theme of the timelessness of art. Art is eternal. The men who think and dream, that is, the music makers, are really important and immortal in this world. The word dream is significant as the dreams of these dreamers of dreams shake us out of complacency and lead to progress and change. The words dying and birth, though contradictory, enlarge the scope of the active role played by creative artists in shaping the present, a juncture between the past and the future. The present arises from the ashes of a dying past and the present simultaneously gives birth to the future. So, I hope you will like this answer. Stay tuned, stay connected for more reference materials. Bye and take care.